y'all it's Sheree what's up back with another video as I told y'all in my empties video if you haven't seen my empties video you can definitely check it out I have been shopping y'all and I've been shopping so much that I had to split these hauls up so in this video I'll be doing a beauty haul we're talking skincare body care and makeup and then the next haul will be the natural hair haul I don't know what's gotten into me, but it's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Capitalism and consumerism has surely been getting the best of me, but I am happy with what I picked up and I can't wait to try it all. And y'all know if I don't love them, I will take them back. If you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face, definitely be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Welcome back to all of my OGs. I'll definitely link everything down below. If you see something and you want to pick it up, I am not pressuring you to buy. Because you don't need none of this. <laughs> but if you are going to buy it anyway, as always, clicking the links and purchasing through my links really does support my channel. It keeps content like this coming, and I would love you forever. And I didn't tell y'all, give the video a thumbs up. It also does help my channel within the YouTube algorithm. I'm not just saying it for a cute intro. It actually does help. So, enough not talking, y'all. Let's get into it. If y'all don't know, a few weeks ago, Ulta had their 2023 Love Your Skin event. It ran from January 1st to January 21st, I'm pretty sure. I do have a dedicated video on all of the things that were on sale, the things that I would recommend. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. If you didn't know about that sale, Ulta was running 50% off luxury skincare. So if you didn't see that video, that means that you missed out. But the good thing about it is that the sale comes around every single year. So you can always catch it next January. But if you were tuned into my exclusive community, the Insider Tea, you would have gotten the daily deals. I posted the best deals every day. I also posted on my community tab, but we know y'all don't really see that anymore. So if you want to get deals right to your inbox, definitely click the link down below and join the Insider Tea. We talk sales, hair care, makeup, skincare, all that stuff. It's a good time. If you want to check it out. The first thing I actually did not pick up from Ulta during the 21 days of skincare, whatever, but this was on sale. So I actually picked up the jumbo size, which is 13.5 fluid ounces. I actually picked this up directly from Fresh.com. They were running a 50% off sale back at the end of 2020, and I picked it up. But Ulta also ran the, I think, 8 ounce size of this during their Love Your Skin event. So if you didn't catch the first sale, you were able to catch it on Ulta. It wasn't the jumbo size, but it still was a really good deal. And that was also 50% off, like everything else during the sale. So I did want to mention it at this point because this item was something that was on sale, even though this size was not on sale. So this is my favorite cleanser. Obviously, it's a favorite because I bought a jumbo size of it. I don't need a jumbo size anything because I have so much skincare, but I love it. <laughs> and I use a lot of it. I didn't even say what this was. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It is so gentle on the skin. You can use it in the nighttime and in the morning. It's so, so, like, it's everything. It feels like pure aloe vera on the skin, aloe vera gel on the skin. If you ever cut open, like, an aloe vera, that's what this texture looks like. It's so freaking good. Like, obviously, I love it. I didn't actually mention this product in my wish list because I didn't think I needed it. But that's what happens when you watch other creators. I was watching my girl, Alice in the Rabbit Hole. I've talked about her before on my channel. If you're into skincare, you should definitely check her out. She mentioned that she mentioned in her recommendation video that she loved this. And I was like, girl, okay. <laughs> so I said, add to cart. This is the Indie Lee CoQ10 Toner with Aloe and Hyaluronic Acid. I do not need any type of toner or anything. But this sounded so good and she raved about it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. It. and I hope I love it as much as she does I know this is actually a cult favorite I've just never used it so I am interested to try it out the girlies love this so I had to pick it up this is the Osea Andaria algae body oil like this is going completely viral or at least at some point has gone completely viral I have to smell this y'all because the girlies love it and I hope I love it too just nice it's just giving black girl luxury it's giving she got money and offshore account 
Oh, I don't hate this. Just based on the scent descriptions from other people, I thought it was going to smell like citrus and grass, but it doesn't. It's actually a light, just a light citrus scent. I actually like the scent. I was really worried about it. Let's see what it feels like. I'm definitely going to use it tonight after my shower. I love this scent. It's a very nice, like, I don't know, very understated citrus scent. And it gives you a nice little... <laughs> nice little shine. <laughs> I like this. Okay, I'm happy about that. I'm happy, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I also picked up the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Cream. So I did not want to pick this up because it was so expensive. Like, regular price is so expensive. But people rave about this, so I had to try it out. It's half an ounce regular price for, like, I don't know, something crazy, like $60. But it's supposed to be, like, an all-in-one. It contains, like, hydrating ingredients. I just have to try it, and I have to report back on it. Because y'all know I did not want to try SK2 because it was so expensive. And after actually trying it, I was like... The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. I'm hoping I don't like this because it's so expensive. But I'll definitely report back and let y'all know. This is actually the last thing I picked up during the outside event. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. So it's actually more so a hydrating type of serum. It's supposed to bring that plumpness to the skin. It definitely doesn't contain any exfoliating type of ingredients. It's supposed to give you pure hydration and moisture i definitely have high standards when it comes to hydration and plumping because i'm so into korean skincare and japanese skincare so i mean this is gonna have a lot to live up to but people rave about this i'll definitely report back and let you know if it's worth the coins because one ounce is like 40 dollars you can get a nice korean serum for like 10 to 12 dollars so i'll definitely report back and let y'all know and last for skincare, I picked up two tinted mineral sunscreens from Amazon. Neutrogena just launched the sunscreens, oh, I think a few weeks ago. I heard about them first from Dr. Dre, and I love Dr. Dre. And she's a birth certified dermatologist that be on here just dropping gems. So I did want to pick these up. They come, they come in like four different shades. I got the shade deep and medium deep. I'm not sure how, are, how these are going to look on me. I haven't tried them yet because I wanted to show it to y'all on camera first. I definitely have high standards when it comes to sunscreen. Again, because I'm so into Asian beauty sunscreens. So we're going to see because I honestly prefer chemical sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens are not safer than chemical sunscreens. That is just clean marketing and it's bogus. I would say that mineral sunscreens are probably gentler around the eyes when it comes to those of us who have sensitive eyes. But in terms of the safeness or the cleanness, chemicals are chemicals are chemicals. Like, even a mineral is a chemical. You know what I mean? So, we'll see how these stack up to my other sunscreens. I'm hoping I like them because they're, I mean, they're not the most affordable because you're still only getting one fluid ounce for $14. So, it's not the most inexpensive sunscreen. But for those of you who do want a mineral tinted option, I will be the I will be the lab rat and test them out for you. Now let's go into body care. I only have a few body care products because body care are the things that I go through a lot, but I feel like I go through my skincare and hair care a lot faster. So what well, does that mean I don't bathe? <laughs> I do shower y'all, I promise, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> First body product I got is from Ulta Beauty. It is their Tempting Tangelo body wash is their scented body wash i saw these on the ulta website when i was picking up something else from ulta i got some hair products again we'll talk about the hair products in a different haul and i was like oh ask the cart because it's like affordable i think it was like six seven dollars for 10 fluid ounces so it really wasn't bad and the scent is very mild honestly it's a very mild citrus scent but it's actually really nice i'm hoping that it's moisturizing um, I'll definitely report back because I've never heard anyone talk about these. I'm not sure if they're new. Um, I'll definitely report back like I said. It's just nice and pretty, ain't it? And so affordable, so we love that. 
I picked up two philosophy body washes from TJ Maxx. I got, you know these be real high. This is actually the Big Daddy, the 32 fluid ounce, and it was only $10. So I had to pick it up because these are usually $20 at TJ Maxx and $40 if you get it from like the philosophy website or something like that. So this was definitely very much a deal. So I got the brown butter cookie scent, which smells just like brown butter cookies. I've actually never tried philosophy before, so I'm really excited to try it out. Mmm, smells delicioso. I've been waiting to do this video so I can actually try these products. Um, I'm definitely going to add it to my shower real quick. And I also got the chocolate chip cookie scent as well. It looks nice and brown. I'm pretty sure it's all coloring. Like, these ingredients are not super duper natural. But, girl, who cares? Chemicals are chemicals. I mean, the scents are... This is more subtle than the brown, than the other one, but I'm so excited. And it was $10 for 32 ounces. Like, you cannot beat that. Like, TJ Maxx, y'all, has so many products right now. At least the ones here in North Jersey. Like, the TJ Maxx is stacked right now. So, run over to TJ Maxx. I mean, hair care, skin care, everything at TJ Maxx. Like, I went crazy in TJ Maxx the last few weeks because... They, they bust it, okay? You may want to check them out. So those are, only, those are the three body care things that I got. I told you I don't need much body care products. Now let's wrap this video up with makeup. I know most of y'all on my channel do not give a damn about makeup. But one thing about me, I'm going to put a little face on. I'm not going to give the girls too much. I'm not going to do the spider lashes and all the eyeshadow and the cut crease and all that. I'm going to do a nice little simple base. But I'm going to do some makeup, okay? I have a lot of products from e.l.f. I also have some random other products as well. Most of them are from e.l.f. besides two. So I got products from Ulta as well as directly from e.l.f.com because the e.l.f. website has the best sales on e.l.f. I think these were 60% off when I got them. So yeah, I've been, e.l.f. has had a hold on me. But let's talk about the few products that I got from Ulta. So I got the NYX. This is Milky Lip Gloss. I got this because I think I think I saw someone say that this is supposed to be a dupe for the Fenty lip glosses, if I'm not sure. People have raved about these as like inexpensive drugstore lip glosses, and usually I use Fenty or I use something from Sephora. And even though I love a splurge, I love a save too. So we'll test this out and see what she is hitting for. It's a pretty orange color. Actually, y'all, this is reminding me of the lip gloss that I'm wearing right now which is the Tower 28 Fire Lip Gloss. And just watching it on my hand, I'm like, is this a dupe? I think texture-wise, they look really similar. The colors are not like a spot-on dupe. This is the Tower 28 Fire. Then this is the um, NYX Lip Gloss in the color Mango Lassie. So definitely not a color dupe. But definitely potentially a texture dupe. I'll have to report back on that. I guess I can just layer it on top. Mm, not quite a texture dupe either. But for half the price, those in middle. That's really pretty. I'm happy I got that. Okay. So not quite a dupe. But definitely still a very lovely lip gloss. I got two blushes. I got the J Cat Beauty blush in the color in Le Color Girl. I don't know. And Dolly Peachy. Dolly Peachy. So I wanted to. I'm like I'm an, I've been loving cream blush. I don't have on any blush today. It's just a bronzer and highlighter day. But I do love me a good blush. So I was like, let me try this one out. It definitely does not match the website. I definitely thought it was going to be a lot more orange than it is. So I don't like that. But I'm hoping that, oh, okay. It's more like a pinky orange. That's actually still kind of pretty. That's actually still beautiful. And lastly, for what I got at Ulta, I got the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. Like, I love the putty blushes. In my most recent favorites, I mentioned the color Barbados. 
love that color if you haven't seen my favorites I'll definitely link my favorites playlist I love that color so I wanted another one so that's why I got this color in Isla del Sol <laughs> this is my people my people am so this color is gorgeous like gorgeous gorgeous honey ah y'all see that that is a beautiful color J cat definitely has uh, more pigment uh, if you are kind of new to blush or you're new to makeup and you want something that's more like lightweight that's that's gonna be more like buildable Elf is the way to go because it's not pigmented and you can really build it up. If you want like a little flush of color, it's perfect. That is the JCAT color. And then that is Isla del Sol. So that's pretty. Both of them are really pretty. They're kind of similar kind of, but I can't wait to wear Isla del Sol. Like my people, my people am, can't wait. Like I'm happy so far with my makeup, my makeup purchases. Let's go through real quick with e.l.f. I picked up two e.l.f. concealers. They both look crazy. On the website, they were not giving ashy like this. I picked up the colors tan, sand, and medium golden. That's what these look like. They look much better on camera than they do in person. That is laughable, <laughs> okay? They look way better, because in person, it's giving a real light skin, y'all. Uh, especially the medium golden. It's all pinky and stuff. Ooh. I wanted something that was more of a highlight color. Oh, that's actually pretty on. Somewhere in my everyday makeup drawer, I have e.l.f. concealers in like darker colors. So I wanted to do like a face of e.l.f., but I didn't have the right color. So I wanted to get a lighter color. Um, so this is actually going to work because I'm going to layer down the darker color and then layer this on top for more of a highlight. This is actually going to work out perfectly. So that's cool. That works out. But this, this, this medium golden color, I don't think that's going to work for us saints. Oof. Yeah, that's giving orange. That's giving, that's giving color corrector one of my my white sisters this is not giving pink pink <sighs> I'll hide this in there so the first color that's gonna work the second color mm, not so much but it's okay I also got the ultra precise brow pencil in brunette I used to love the uh, elf pencil the white one like the real cheap one that used to be a dollar we know e.l.f. has gone up, but back in the day, I loved that eye pencil. This is this Thinner Cousin. I wanted to compare it to the Anastasia as well as the Benefit Brow pencils, which are my favorites, but they're like $20. This is like a cool little $5, 60% off. It was like two something, so I wanted to test it out. I also have their brow gel. Again, I wanted to do a full face of e.l.f., probably not on this channel because... I'm not a makeup girl, right? I'm not amazing at it. I just love to do makeup for myself. But just, I may do a best of elf, like, wrap-up video. I probably won't do a full face, because y'all don't care. I got a mascara. This is their Big Mood mascara, which had a time at some point. I bought it and then realized I had a whole bunch of mascaras open right now. And you're not supposed to have mascara for years and years. You're supposed to only have them like for six months. So I was like, I'm not going to open this until I use up some of my older mascaras. But I do plan to get to this. I got this free with purchase because I'm pretty sure I didn't buy this. This is the Lash Beats Mascara and Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. Lord knows if it actually works. I'm not sure because I'm not going to open this for a while because I have so many mascaras right now but did want to let y'all know I have that. also have the their lip plumping gloss in the color Champagne Glam. I actually picked this up because during the holidays I picked up another color which I love. I've been like using it. This is the color Baha Bahama Mama. No one really talks about this lip gloss but this elf lip gloss five dollars totally worth the money. It's amazing. Um, all of the colors are not available in Ulta. Some of the colors that you have to get on the e.l.f. website. But the e.l.f. website is great. Like I said, they always run sales. Free shipping over 25 I think. So 
I have two colors now. I may even go back and get some more because these lip glosses are so damn good. And the last thing I got from e.l.f. is a makeup sponge. I think I saw Andrew Renee talk about this. And once Andrew talks about it, you just have to buy it. So I did pick up the e.l.f. Cookies and Cream sponge. I'm not sure if it's a limited edition or anything like that. But I did pick this up. And I don't need another sponge. But again, consumerism, capitalism, be consumering and capitalizing. And here we are. So that is my haul, y'all. That is my skincare, body care, and makeup items that I have picked up over the last month or so. If you've picked up anything that you're excited about or you can't wait to try, definitely let me know. I'm not going to go out and buy it because I have enough, but I will add it to my list. And maybe by the end of the year, I can pick it up as well. If you want a review on anything in particular that I mentioned today, definitely let me know. I'll definitely bring that content to y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be well until next time. Peace. Bye, y'all.